Thank you, Kelly. Well, Hawaii is a very unique place, and we're all so lucky to live here. That's why every month we're visiting a different neighborhood to find out what makes each so special. In this morning's Welcome Home segment, we take a closer look at the real estate market in Mililani with Locations Realtor Megan Toon. Welcome. Good morning, Megan. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for being here. Now, tell us about the Mililani area because we know it is kind of separated into two sections. Right. So there is Mililani Malka and Mililani Town. And both are a blend of condos, townhomes, and single-family homes. And other neighboring areas are like um, Laonani Valley and YPO Acres. Okay, and the, and the big difference, I guess, between Mililani Town and Mililani Malka, aside from the fact that Malka's the newer section. Right, so it's newer. Some of the homes have larger interior square footage. Um, some of the lots are a little smaller. And um, one thing is that they are 15% higher in price than Mililani Town. Okay, because it is newer. Right. So yeah. what does the current single-family market look like? So the single-family um, market is very strong in Mililani. It's up to par with the rest of Oahu's median sales price. Mm -hmm. And the median sales price for the single-family homes in Mililani are about 781000 which is slightly higher than Oahu's median sales price. And there are only about 18 homes for sale. And the prices range from 659000 to $1.2 So when Malka and Milani Town combined, only 18 homes for sale? Well, yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah, for single-family homes, wow. yeah. What about condos? So condos, the condo market is also doing well. The mm -hmm. median sales price is 390000 And um, what's amazing is that the days on market is only 12 days, so they go very wow. quickly. Uh -huh. And prices range from 229000 for a condo townhome up to about 535,000. Now when we think about Mililani, a lot of times we think about suburbs and families and sports, but a lot of different people live in Mililani. It's not just the, the new families. Right, right. It's, well, majority is local residents, mm -hmm. about three-fourths, but there are, you know, owner investors, local, local investors, about 20%, mm -hmm. and just, um, yeah, a lot of people. And I know they have senior communities there. The senior communities, mm -hmm. yeah. And a lot of people go back to live in Mililani after maybe they've gone out to town or other places. I hear that they always return uh, to that neighborhood where they grew up. Right, right. They love the community feel and, you know, the, the school systems are really great. They have great elementary school systems and high schools and um, all the great parks, the recreation, community centers and things like that. So it has a nice feel for community there. And, of course, we're looking at some gorgeous video now, just a variety of things to do if you're looking um, in the Mililani area. A lot of homes, but they're going quickly, right, Megan? So if you're interested, you got to snatch one up. Right, right, yes. All right. Definitely. All right, and then, of course, it is growing just a little bit more uh, because of the Coral Ridge area as right, well. Right, right. So Coral Ridge is finally taking off. Mm -hmm. um, they're in works for many, many years, and um, they broke ground just last year, and next year they plan on building 170 homes, and there's a total of about 3,500 homes to be built, and they start from 300,000 for condos up to 900,000 for single-family homes. All right. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much for being Thank here, Thank you so much. All right.